tough for them to get that inside game going. Greg Johnson threw that one up quickly. Lost to Alfonso Bell. You see right now the tempo is a little slower pace because of the zone defense. And it really takes away the great scoring talents of John. But John somehow will have his 25 before the night's over. There's Graham on the blocks. Miller keeping it alive, and there's Bell with his jumping ability. See, you notice Leon Miller at 34 kept it alive. They have two or three or four people down there, and they even have depth with their post players. Well, Bell is a certainly a good scorer and an excellent offensive rebounder. Had 40 points in one game this year against Alabama State, number 33. Loose ball again, picked up by Bell. Graham nice gives look. it up to Card. Nice look by the big O, kicks it off. Ed Card with the score, comes from a basketball family. His brother, Lewis Card, was Mr. Basketball in Alabama, went to South Florida, originally played at Auburn. Those kids, as special as a moment for Danny Manning, Percy Hawkins, these kids, they work just as hard. Jeff McCoy picked up that foul on the other end, and here's Bell. Alfonso Bell. I can't stress enough, Tim, how it's wide open on the wings. The wings are there. The shots are there. This guy comes off the bench, makes us look good with our scouting report that says he's an instant offense, and he's provided, I guess, already five points. He's going to be open on the inside. See, if he goes out, the wing has to cover him. Bell. Sandy Anderson all over the glass. And again, an example of what he can do. He was recruited out of high school by Murray Arnold at the time at Tennessee Chattanooga. And he decided to go to Auburn Montgomery and stay home. Definitely bothered him that time. Ends with the rebound. It's a four on two for Rodney John. That's where he's at his best, Tim. If he can catch the pitch out and go coast to coast, he has the great ability in the open court to get the good shot. Look at this guy. He used to get some good shots in his day, too. Mr. Westfall played at Southern Cal for Bob Boyd, hooked up with Dennis Moe Lake from Wequayic High School in Newark, New Jersey, one of the best high school teams I have ever, ever seen when he played with a guy by the name of Dana Lewis. The less fine was the coach. 24-2 one year at USC. Did not make it into the NCAA field. In those days, you had to win the conference, the Pac-8 at that time. They were number two in the nation. Look at Mr. Bell. Instant offense. Alfonso Bell. He's one of our NAIA greats who went on to play with the Knicks. Oh, what a left-hand jump shooter. Big Dick along with Frazier and Monroe and Reed and the Busher and Bradley. Had that cook, uh, that kick with the feet as he launched his jump shot. There's a bucket and a foul for Graham. Big power force inside. We've been talking about him all day long. He's a man inside. He's a mini version of J.R. Reed. He said, I'm just like J.R. Look at me operate inside. Three people all over him. Counted. Mentioned J.R. Michigan's Wolverines are going to have. Orlando Graham has just returned to the floor with a Band-Aid on the head. But it's bigger than the one Derek Chivas wears, believe me. It's a one-point lead for Grand Canyon. Putin in the game along with Bobby Harris in the backcourt. Man-to-man -man defense. They took, came out of that zone they played earlier in the game. Graham. Oh, he's not hurting. Well, I'll tell you one thing. He might have gotten a little rest and is really feels stronger now. He said, I'm the hero for Montgomery with a band-aid of all. I'm going to take him to the gold trophy. You got to believe what a national championship, NAIA, his reputation as a former great pro, that's got to give him an entree. And this guy is carrying him to the winner's circle. Johns now has 28 points. Oh, what a good move by Eddie Card. Card knows how to score also. Takes the ball right to the goal. 58 seconds and counting. Remember, Harris is a three-point shooter. Number 11. He's got, they're not going to play number 10. He's not a threat from deep. He's more a ball handler than a defender. He can shoot. Harris knocks it down, and we're tied. That's his fifth three-pointer. And Auburn Montgomery wants the timeout. 41 seconds left, and we're tied at 82. Harris delivers. He's a three-point threat, and he comes through, through at a crucial moment. Or Ledbetter, there is in Johnson's hands, but they're going to look to pop Rodney out to get him the ball for the last shot, number 32. Johnson to Aker. Nice move, Ledbetter for the win. And we're headed to overtime. 
They couldn't get the ball in the hands of Johns, and you have to credit to the defensive effort of Larry Chapman's team. They were ready for Johns. They denied him the ball, and they couldn't get him the basketball. Number 32, what a way to go for a national championship, an overtime game. You have to be impressed with some of the moves made by Paul Westfall tonight. Bell with the leaping leader in the lane. He just knows how to score. He really does. He spots an opening, comes off the bench. I believe if he played 35 minutes a night, he'd put 20 on a board every night. He has 15 points. 1-0-2 to play. One thing we've noticed in the overtime is both teams have been utilizing the 45-second shot clock. What a job defensively to go inside. Graham, Graham they turned it over, and Johnson caused it. I'll tell you, Johnson caused it, but also the play fronting by Eng. Mm -hmm. Eng did a great job fronting. Collided, but I'll tell you, he did a great job right there to create that opportunity to get back the ball. Really, really bothered Orlando. Oh, Frank. there's a steal by Bobby Harris. DJ's a great defender, 5-7. I can't get over the block. Told you he could dunk. Woo! What, a, what a vertical jump by Craig Johnson. Get it in a, running out. Get it in the hands of Rodney Johns. They get the timeout with 13 seconds left. And Grand Canyon has their fans on their feet. Cloud, very well composed coach. 10 seconds remaining. I'd say get it in his hands. Either going to win or lose it with number 32, the All-American. Putin he is on him. Johns. Oh, it's only <laughs> two seconds left. Auburn Montgomery gets the timeout. Rodney with an encore. Now he has to go length of the floor. He can't call the timeout at midcourt. Yeah, that's the only questionable part right there, but I think he wanted to take a look at the defensive setup. And right now, I guarantee you, Paul Westwall's making a little bit of adjustment also and knows that he has the part. He's got the two-point lead and also the fact that he does not have Meteor from Montgomery. Look at Gallagher now. Bounce it up and down. Remember, the clock doesn't start until the ball starts. It's over. It's over, baby. It's celebration time. Grand National Canada. Championship. Are they happy? The Antelopes win it all. 75-78 under Coach Lindsay, and now 1988, Paul Westfall. There's the look of the winner of the NAIA championship. There he walks over to Orlando Graham. Nice move by Paul, going down, shaking the hands of the competitors. He knows it was very, very tough to come away with a win here. Down six at halftime. He leads Grand Canyon to their third national title. Auburn Montgomery obviously feeling the emotion of defeat. And we'll be back to put it all in perspective for you. Grand Canyon dug themselves out of a big hole to win the national championship.